There is a world which in one sense is more real than the world in which we live now. Uh, why do I say that? Well, in the world in which we live, as we talked about, is a time-space universe. If we assume there was a creator of the time-space universe, and the creator obviously is beyond the creation since he created it, we find out that Jesus describing uh, the Father says God is spirit. Uh, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. They were arguing, uh, the Jews and the Samaritans, about where is the place to worship God the best. And this was brought up by the woman at the well. And uh, Jesus said, we're not talking about geography here. The God you want to worship is not bound by earthly geography. He's spirit. He goes beyond that. And, of course, it's hard for us to understand because, by definition, if there's a spirit world, it's one that we do not see because it does not directly correspond to the material world in which we live. Now, it's very interesting when we think about a spirit world, it would obviously be more real than the world we're in. Why? Because God is spirit. So when we start talking about a spirit world and we want to discount the fact that it exists, well, that's fine if you don't believe that God exists. But there's a strange thing about God and the spirit world. It keeps coming to mind over and over again in the human history and existence and even in our times now. Uh, although we might deny a creator God, uh, constantly, whether it's uh, uh, theater, uh, movies, um, literature, uh, there's this recurring theme that there is something beyond this life. Now, we can do all of our rationality, all of our logic, and figure out that what, what we see is what is, what we can determine, what we can feel, what we can see, what we can test. That's reality. But if there's a creator, the real reality is him, and he's spirit. Now, we will find out, too, as we continue our study, he's made some spirit beings which have an interesting relation to us. But when we talk about God being a spirit, it's very easy on the one hand to discount it, but somehow the feeling that there's more than what we see keeps persisting. Matter of fact, when I was in language school uh, many years ago here in the Philippines, there was a teacher who was taking the standard Western approach to us Westerners in talking about some of the legendary and mythical creatures that are found in the Philippine uh, woods and forests and jungles and even in their cities and towns and on mountains. He would describe them and define them and say things like, of course, this is a myth. Of course, this is a legend. And when we got all done, I said, well, it's easy to say that these things are myths and legends until you meet one. He says, yeah, immediately he started talking about an experience he had as a boy which could only be explained supernatural, some spirit activity. So it keeps coming back. In the hearts of man, we keep having this sensation, we keep having this sensation that there's something more than this life.